In this tutorial, we will see cold formed profiles and their general forms in detail. As I mentioned before, Idea Statica has a wide range of cross section library. You can either select the profile from the catalog, or you can define your own section from parametric part. However, in some cases these sections may be insufficient. Now we will see what can be done, if there are no appropriate parametric sections for our needs, provided by the software. In such cases we have an additional tool called cold form general shape here in the last image. When I select it, a new window will open that I can see a default shape. We can change the name, the thickness, and the inner radius of the new cross section. Because the thickness and the inner radius is constant in this type of element, these are independent from the cross section. Therefore I will specify these parameters for the whole cross section for once, and then all I have left to do is decide the topology. To do so, click here next to edit, and a new centerline window opens. Here I have two ways to define the cross sections. The first way is, I can define the cross section directly by using two dimensions, as you can see here. The center of the YZ coordinate system is here, and all the points are defined with respect to this center. Simply, I can add new points by using the plus icon, and I can change the coordinates. For example, if I write point 3 as 100 and 200, I will get an L shape profile. And if I continue with the fourth point, the cross section will change as seen. Even if I made a mistake, I can easily delete the point I want. Just right click on the point and select delete. Let's assume that we want to introduce an intermediate point because we forgot it. Similarly, I select one of the points that I want, I right click and select insert ahead of or insert behind according to my need. For instance, let's suppose we want to add a new point between 1 and 2. I select insert ahead of, then I specify my coordinates for example 50 and 70, and that is it. As you understand, any geometry can be modeled by using this centerline tool. On the other hand, sometimes modeling a complex cross-section can be hard to do, or time-consuming. In such cases, we have a second option to generate these geometries by importing the DXF file. To load the DXF file, use this button here, click on it, select the related DXF file and select Open. When I load a new file, this window opens. In this new window, we can see all the content of the DXF file. Now I can select from this file the parts that I actually want to import to the software. First I have to choose the plane. As you see, now I am viewing XY plane and that is OK for me. But the section also be created in YZ or XZ planes. If it was so, we could choose YZ or XZ from here. Second fundamental thing is units. In this case, I am going to select millimeters. However, I sometimes have difficulty remembering which unit I worked for. Or I cannot measure it. We can see the drawing boundaries and units at the upper part of this new window. We can easily understand that how big these cross sections are. So what happens if we change the unit? Now the drawing boundaries tell us a great value, so this cannot be correct. As a result, I will select millimeters. Now I just select those lines that I want to define the geometry. In this way, you can import any part of drawing you want, and you may not need all the parts. I hold down the control button and select the drawing parts that I want. And then click on select. Then here in this small window, the software shows what I am actually going to import from the DXF file. Let's assume that there is a mistake. All I have to do is clicking on clear button to clean all the selection. I can click on for example, this line and then click on consecutive to choose all the lines touching my selection, as a faster selection method. Then if I click on select, I can get the image of this cross section in this small window again. Another additional tool is the discretization of the curved lines. Remember that, Idea Statica is a finite element program and therefore it does not admit curved elements. So what happened if we have a curved element? The program polygonizes it into straight elements. If I choose small angles from discretization, I will have more straight lines to represent curved parts. In the opposite way, if I select bigger angles, would have reduced the number of straight lines. For example I select 15 and click on OK, then the cross section is being loaded. 
If we have a quick look at this section, there are too many points created. Especially if I zoom in the curved parts of the section, I can see that there are many points because of the discretization. Actually we do not need all those points. Let's open the drawing again and look at the second drawing in the DXF file. The corners are straight in the second drawing. If you load a non-curved section into Idea Statica like the second drawing, the software will automatically generate these straight corners in a smoother and curved way. And so, it is not necessary to load the real geometry, just use a simple drawing. Therefore I select this line from the second drawing the click on consecutive, millimeters, select and OK, respectively. If I zoom in a curved part of the section, I can see that it is not necessary to define six points on a curve to simulate it. The software can understand that it is going to be a cold formed profile. If we compare this cross section with the previous one, we see that the new one has fever points. Once the section defined, click OK and the section is displayed here in this window. I can check the dimensions and the position of the center of gravity. In this window, I could modify the thickness again if I made a mistake. Same goes for inner radius and material. I can edit the coordinates again by clicking the button close to edit. To finish and load the new geometry, click OK. Zoom in the curves and see how Idea Statica polygonizes them. Not in terms of calculation, but in terms of modeling defining so many points is not recommended at all, and also it is unnecessary.